Hello everyone, welcome to the Course of History. My name is Rocio and in today's video we are going to look at the history of Valentine's Day. So contrary to popular belief, Valentine's was not a Hallmark holiday and it actually originated in ancient Rome and in the Middle Ages and in today's video we are going to look at how this holiday came to be and how it transformed into what the holiday is today with the roses and the candy and the teddy bears and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you subscribe and let's get started. The Valentine's Day story begins with the Roman festival Lupercalia. This pagan festival was held on February 15th and it celebrated fertility and purification. So on this day, members of the Luperci would sacrifice a goat and a dog and then two men would be led to an altar where the sacrificial blood of the animals would be put on their foreheads. After that, a great feast was held and then the priest would cut the hide of the goat into strips and run around Palatine Hill. And along the way, women would gather to be whipped by the hide of the goat in order to ensure their fertility. So because this festival was all about fertility, women would put their name in a jar and an eligible bachelor would draw a name. The couple would then be paired for the remainder of the festival and these matchings often led to marriage. For years, the Christian church tried to put an end to the practice of pagan holidays and rituals by Christianizing them, and in 496 AD, Pope Gelasius I declared February 14th as St. Valentine's Day. So St. Valentine's lived in Rome during the 3rd century, and it was under the reign of Claudius II, or Claudius Gothicus, that St. Valentine's was martyred. So according to legend, Claudius II outlawed the marriage of young men. The emperor was fighting against the bordering territories and claimed that young men made better soldiers. But despite the decree, St. Valentine continued to perform marriage ceremonies in secret, but he was eventually caught and imprisoned by the Romans. The legend also suggests that while in prison, St. Valentine fell in love with the jailer's daughter, and right before his death, he sent her a love letter signed from your Valentine. In 1381, the English poet Chaucer wrote a poem making the connection between St. Valentine's Day, the mating season of birds, and the royal engagement of Richard II and Anne of Bohemia, and this allowed St. Valentine's Day to be associated with love and romance. In the 19th century, people began exchanging handmade cards and small gifts, and in the 1840s, Esther Howland began selling the first mass-produced Valentine's cards in the United States. Today, people celebrate Valentine's Day in a variety of ways. Some people go out to dinner, others exchange chocolates, cards, and flowers, and others receive jewelry, but it's all done in an effort to show their loved ones just how much they care. 